Okay, Quran is 100 integrals, number 56. All right, so this time we need to integrate sector square x over tangent square x minus 3 tangent x plus 2. So when you first look at the question, it looks like this is just, um, it's a quadratic, it's a quadratic trinomial here. Um, so you can factorize this. But how do I deal with the sector square x on the top? And I hope you realize that the derivative of tangent x is equal to sector square x. So that gives you a hint, maybe for this question, we need to use substitution to do this question here. Okay, so we're going to start using substitution. We're going to let u equals to um, tangent x. Just replacing all the trick into just u. All right, so we need to prepare our substitution that gives us du is equal to sector square x dx. And now you can see here that sector square x dx is just going to be replaced by um, du. All right, so once you've done the preparation, now we're just going to substitute everything we need. So that, remember, this entire part becomes du. So we can just write du here, or you can just write du on the side. Okay, so that gives you u squared minus 3u plus 2, and that becomes, oh, shouldn't have du anymore. That's probably the reason it's better to write um, du on the side. Okay. All right, so now, um, as I said previously, the denominator looks like, you know, a quadratic trinomial. So we can factorize it. So that should give us 1 over u minus 1, u minus 2, du. All right, so once you factorize into u minus 1 and u minus 2, it becomes a partial fraction question. Okay, so we can do something like, and we can let this one to be a over u minus 1 plus b over u minus 2 and du. And we start the process of finding a and b. Okay? It's not a, a very difficult partial fraction to do. Um, the numbers are quite easy, so it should be a very simple um, substitution to get what's b and a. Okay, so that gives you ub times by u minus 1, and everything is equal to 1. All right, so all we have to do now is by using um, some suitable substitution, like for example, let u equals to 1. So when I substitute u equals to 1 here, this entire term um, disappeared. All right, so if you substitute u equals to 1 there, that gives you um, minus a equals to 1. So um, what is a equals to? So a should equals to uh, one, negative 1 here. All right. That's what a equals to. Now we can substitute u equals to 2. Um, so that should give us b equals to 1. So it's a very simple um, you know, substitution to find out the value of a and b. Okay, so that should give us minus 1 over u minus 1 plus 1 over u minus 2 du. So from here, we should be able to just use a log um, to integrate. So that gives us... Um, Negative ln absolute value of u minus 1 plus ln absolute value of u minus 2 plus c here. Now, don't forget you, okay, you need to also uh, replace the u by the previous substitution, which is u equals to tangent x. Okay, so let's just replace in that. Um, in the meantime, probably I'm just going to switch these two order around because I don't really like to have a, a negative arm um, as the leading coefficient. All right, so that gives us ln. We substitute the u back, all right, so that gives you tangent x minus 2 minus ln absolute value of tangent x minus 1 plus c. Okay, so that's the answer. Now, if you really want to, all right, you can um, use the log laws to simplify this into a fraction like this one here. Um, you don't have to, um, but obviously you can um, do something like this to make this one look a bit simple, okay? So that's how you integrate this question here. It looks very, it's a very nice question. It's, it's a well-designed question where, you, you know, the derivative of tangent x is equal to sector square x. So that really gives you a hint where you need to use a substitution to work out the answer. And after you substitute, you actually end up with a partial fraction question. So it's a, it's a pretty good question here. All right. Okay, so that is Quranis 100 integrals of number 56. All right, thank you. Thanks for watching.